friends and welcome to my 15 minutes Monday video. Today we will talk about one brilliant color. This is a phthalo green blue shade from the Daniel Smith. In my travel palette I have just one green color. This one. It's right here. And this one green is enough to mix any kind of different green colors. I will show you. By the way, if you already took my video lesson on my website whatsacoloronline.com about the colors, you know something about that. If not, I recommend you to take it. So, itself, the phthalo green is that color. But if you add just a little bit deep gold, quinacridone deep gold, you have a very soft, nice grass color. You see that? Or you can mix this with a quinacridone sienna and you have a color which is very close to the subgreen. Or you can add just a little bit indigo to this and you have a, some dark color. Or if you want to paint something like a Caribbean, just a little bit of tall blue color and tall green color together, you have a very nice turquoise color. You see, that's Caribbean colors. So everything what you want, you can mix. Just use just one green blue shade color and for today I prepared the very simple picture you can see the source right now on the screen the picture was made near my house it's a Lachine Park and we'll try to create that very fast and simple like, like usual use one color for any kind of mixing maybe just accept the sky so first I make my paper wet and let's go. For sky I'm starting to use the cobalt mostly, but even for the cobalt I use just a little bit of tallow green to make it more nice. And now I will show you why I like that color that much. Look, a lot of tall green and a little bit deep gold. Look, that's extremely colorful and really sunny brightly mix that we're gonna use for the for the our grass and I switch to my calligraphy brush to starting to create the trees my paper is still wet so I'm gonna play with that for the trees I mix the Queen of Sienna with a tall green Somewhere a little bit more tallow, somewhere we add a little bit more deep gold to make it shiny. And I put some trees on the background. For this I'm gonna use mix between Quinacridone Sienna, Indigo and Phthalo Green. if you want to create something really shiny and green trees in the sunlight look at that that 
that's exactly what we are looking for. And if you remember the source picture, which is right here, look, we have a very nice shadows on the ground. To create the shadows, first I'm going to use the washout. You know, the phthalo pigments is very stable and stunning colors, but even that one we can wash out. You can see that. And I just add a little bit more yellow pigments inside and continue to wash out. Let's make some road there. And let's put some shadows on the ground. For this, for the shadow on the grass, I use a lot of tall green with a Queen of Crayon Sienna. So now we're just preparing the background. We switch to the detailed painting a little bit later. And remember all the R standing on the contrast. That's why we just add a little bit light there more and we starting to create the dark part. My paper is starting to be dry. That's the last chance to create the trees on the background. And like usual, you see everywhere, everywhere, each part have inside Ptal Green. So for now I'm starting to create the graphic design on top of that and I'm still use the Ptal Green. paper is drying so that's the time to make the dark part and the last chance to use the washout if we still planning to bring the lights in our painting.
bring the light. You know about the washout, by the way, you can find the lesson that we talk on my website, watercolorline.com. Um, in that lesson, we talk about the washout technique, which I like very much because that technique all the time gives us a lot of great light feeling and sunshine and everything. So that's good. And that's why I use that technique here because I'm trying to tell you what the stunning pigment still possible to wash out. Look at the light what we have. Okay, a few more touching and it's going to be done. First of all, I add just some contrast here. You see everywhere the tall green. With the different colors, different combination, but the main pigment still tall green. And I switch to my favorite rub brush to, to create the design on top of that. I mean the tiny lines, that's the best liner for this job. This brush painting itself is just dancing brush. almost done just a little bit more dark touching to explain the light better So like you see we create the very simple sketch with the trees, with the lights and we use a lot of different kind of green colors. Starting from something yellow green and going to really dark and cold green color. And inside all of them we have just this one guy. Tallow green blue shade from the Daniel Smith. 
that's why one this guy in my travel palette is enough to mix everything what we want if you want to know more about the colors i recommend you to take the course on my website watercoloronline.com and on the same site you will find all the materials what i'm using including my favorite brushes what i'm using every day and the echo palette as well and if you have any questions feel free to ask me thank you for watching and see you next monday